What's cranking anglers? Today I'm going to be showing you what I'm putting in my tackle box for this summer. It's summertime once again. This is my favorite time of the year to go bass fishing, top water, and all that fun stuff. I don't want to waste any of your time, so let's dive in. First, we have the Senko style worm. These are great all year round. You can Texas rig this or wacky rig it. Either way, it's going to be a winner. And sticking with the soft plastics, up next, some type of creature style bait. These always seem to have luck. I always hit something when those bass are real deep trying to stay cold from that hot sun. Up next, we have a plopper. They have a nice, deep little pocket right here inside the front of it. So that way when you're pulling it across the top of the water, it's splashing and it really grabs those bass's attention. Up next, I like to use a buzz bait. I had a lot of luck with these so far this year. When you're trying to cover a lot of water quickly, this is one of my favorite baits to use. It really gets the bass's attention by disturbing the surface of the water with this blade. And then we have the spinning bait. These are really fun. I've had some luck with these, but I still really like to throw them. It's almost just like the buzz bait, but instead of causing a lot of noise, you have these nice end pieces that really reflect off the water and grab the bass's attention. I also like to have the stick bait or the pencil bait in my tackle box as well during the summer. These are really great for walking the dog when you're just twitching across the water, across the surface of the water, I'm sorry. It, the bass really go nuts for these. Up next, we have a prop bait. Now these are fantastic. I just stuck the finger, my hook in the finger, sorry. Now these are a great topwater bait. When you're pulling them across the surface, the prop is spinning around just like that. Not sure how well you can see that. It's really making a commotion atop of the water and it drives the bats nuts. And last but not least, we have the topwater frog. I've had a lot of luck with the topwater frog and I really do enjoy throwing these. Some people don't and to each his own, that's perfectly fine, but I find that early in the morning or later in the evening, the bass do really enjoy the frog. Now there's many different styles. There's the hollow body, there's the solid body. Some have a plopper in the front. It just depends on what the bass are looking for. It doesn't hurt to have a couple inside your tackle box. All right, so that's what I have in my tackle box for the summer. I hope that inspires you to try some of these baits if you've never tried them. If you're interested in checking out Monster Bass, they have a great monthly subscription box to where they load you up with some of the best baits depending on where you live and the time of the year. I hope you enjoyed this video. So hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe so that way that you don't miss any of the content that we put out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.